Welcome to the homework for lesson six, module two of grade two. Get your name in there first. Like always, if you don't do it, you're not doing it now, you're not going to remember to do it later. And we're measuring. Measure each set of lines in centimeters and write the length on the line. Complete the comparison sentences. Comparison sentences are about longer and shorter, or combining. So, here's my ruler. And we measure line A. But, look out for this, because if you've got a ruler like mine, it's got inches, and it's got centimeters. Centimeter lines are always going to have the numbers closer together than the inches. So what you want to do is make sure you use the right side of your ruler. I have to turn this ruler around. There. And then I uh, see I have a zero line here, so I'm not using the end of my ruler for this ruler because it has a zero line. I have to start with the end point on the zero line. And then I can just look, and it's right here on the 14. So that's 14 centimeters that I'm going to write on the line. 14 cm. Now, if you're using um, your homework pages, don't come out to be exactly 14 on this line. It might be. It might look to be a little bit less. A lot of times, copy machines when they make these pages, they scale, they scale everything down. Uh, and, and people, when they're making these copies, they don't notice it. They're made to be exact, so this should be exactly 14. But yours might come in a little bit less, and if that's the case, then everything's going to be just a little bit short of an exact centimeter on the end. So if yours is close. Just, you know, if it's in between 13 and 14, and it's closer to the 14, call it 14. If it's closer to the 13, call it 13. But we're not using fractions here. We're not, it's not 13 and a half. With centimeters, we don't use fractions. Uh, we, we just round it up or down whole centimeters only. So, we've got more lines to measure here. B. Right on the zero there. That's 10. Write it. Ten centimeters. And then we're gonna move. We have to answer some questions. Write those comparison questions. Line A is how many centimeters longer than line B? Well, line A is longer, right? It's this much longer. You could measure it and write it down, but you can see it's. The difference between 14 and 10 is 14 minus 10. And you can just tell by looking at that, hopefully, that it's 4, right? Because it's you're using the digits, and you know you're taking away a 10. That's 10, 4. And you're taking away the 10, you're just going to have the 4 left, 4 centimeters. And then combine means what are they together? Right, so if I added, if I took the 14 and then I added the 10 onto the end of it, how long would that be? So I'm just going to add another 10, right? Those two 10s, that's two 10s, so that's 20, and then we just have the four ones, 24. So they're about 24 centimeters combined. And you can, you should have this, right? Have this number sentence. Write down this number sentence. Write down this number sentence. Write it all down. Don't just write down a number for an answer. And if you're watching this video, you got to show your work. That's how you do it. Line A. It doesn't take a lot of work to write that down, that number sentence. So just write it down. Line X. I'm going to get my ruler ready. Start with the 0, and that goes to the 8. So that's 8. Centimeters. And line Y. Notice it doesn't start right here like line X does. You're going to line up, match up our endpoints. 
That's nine centimeters. Line Z. That's our last one. Uh, uh, uh. My ruler is stuck. I have to get another ruler for this. Uh, no, I could do this. I could turn my ruler upside down. You could probably just move your ruler past the edge of the page, but I can, my computer won't let me do that. So I'm just going to spin my ruler around and then I have to read it upside down. Five centimeters. Okay, let me get this ruler out of the way. And looks like we're writing in our answers down here. Line X was 8. Line Y was 9. And line Z was 5. Lines X, Y, and Z are about how long combined? Well, if we look at this equation, 8 plus 9 plus 5, we erase those marks. We've got to add them together to combine them. So we could do, uh, we could do a little make 10 here. 8 needs a 2. So we can make this 9 into a 7 and a 5. This is going to be kind of a pain because it's a lot to add. But we want to make 10s. So there's our 10, 7. So these two together are 17. So we need 17 plus 5 is what we're looking for. 17 plus 5 is another one. We can look at this 7. That's a 5 and a 2, right? So there's our 10. There's a 10, that's two 10s, and one more. 2, 20, 2. Let me just draw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's a 10 frame. There's a 10 frame, and there's two more. 10, 22. 2 tenths is 20, 22. 22 combined. 22 centimeters. Line Z is shorter than line X, right? Line Z is 5 centimeters, and line X is 8, so it's shorter. How much shorter is it? It's 8 minus. 5 shorter. 5 is 3 shorter than 8. So it's about 3 centimeters shorter. And I'm going to get this ruler out of the way. Uh. Line X is 8. Right? We'll put it right there, 8. And it's about shorter than line Y, which is 9. Well, the difference between 8 and 9 is just 1. They're so close, right? So I'm going to write sort of 9 minus 8 equals 1. So it's 1 centimeter shorter. A little farther down here. Line Y is 9. Let me just sort of write it here. Line Z is 5. So 9 is longer than 5, but exactly how much longer is it? We're going to subtract to find the difference between the two. Don't write 5 minus 9. You want your minuend to be the largest number. It's the 9. That's what you have before you start subtracting. 9 minus 5. And if you count it up or count it back, that's four. Maybe you just know it. Line is four longer. If line X doubled, line X is eight. Right? So double eight. You know how to double numbers, right? Add it to itself. 
and plus eight. And then that is 16, but that's not the answer here. The answer isn't what is line x doubled. Line x doubled is 16, but how much longer is it than line y? That's the real question. Line y is 9 centimeters, right? So really it's asking, line x doubled is 16. How much longer is 16 than 9? 16 minus 9. The difference between 16 and 9, how much longer is it? It's 7 longer. And we're on to the next page. Line J is 60 centimeters long. And line K is 85. Line L is 1 meter long. That's not a centimeter, that's a meter. So now we're looking at J. Line J is shorter than line K. How much shorter? So it's the same thing. It's what's the difference between the two? The difference between J and K. Well, K is shorter. If we were going to count up, right, a 10 would get us to 70. And then another 10 would get us to 80. And then we have to get 85. So if we're going to do this the arrow way, right, we could do it the arrow way. 60 plus 10, 70, plus another 10, 80, and now we need to just get to 85, that's a plus 5, 85, so what's 2 10s and a 5, that's 25, you can air away that, that's one way to do it. Now we're looking at line L and line K. Line L is a meter long. <clears throat> a meter is a hundred centimeters. So line L is a hundred, and line K is eighty-five. And we say eighty-five. And we're just going to add it up. Eighty-five plus ten more is going to get us to. 95, and then 95, we need 5 more to get to 100. It gets us to 100, so that's the 10 and the 5. It's 15 different. 15 is the difference between the two. And now we're looking at line J. Line J doubled. This is just like on the end of the first page where we got to double something and then make a comparison. So what is line J doubled? Line J is 60. So we have to double 60. And then compare it to line L, which is 1 meter, which is 100 centimeters. So 60 double. That's 6 tens plus 6 more tens. You know, you could just air away this, right? 60. And you might know a shortcut, and you might not have to do all of this. You might know a different way that's more efficient. If you do, use it. 90, and then 10 more. Gets us to 100. We need 60, right? So we need 6 tens. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. We need 2 more tens. <clears throat> That's a hundred ten, and then ten more, hundred twenty. So that the, just the sixty plus sixty line J double is a hundred twenty, right? And that because that's one, two, three, four, five, six tens. So that's a hundred twenty. Is how much more than a hundred? Well, 100, 120, it's 20 more. Uh, you need to write it if you want to write the number sentence. 120 minus 100 minus 20. 
All right, this next one, we've got lines J, K, and L combined. So J is 60, and K is 85, and L is 100 centimeters. We've got to keep thinking of that as centimeters and not just one meter. We can't just add one, because we have to add the same units. It's not one centimeter, it's 100 centimeters. Now, <coughs> these numbers are a pain. They're big and they're difficult to add. So I'm going to use this strategy. I'm going to draw a tape diagram. I'm going to call that my 60. This is going to be my 85. A little bit longer than 60. Call that my 85. And the rest of it, I'm just going to call that 100. Now, the 60 and the 85 is the hard part. Adding the 100 is going to be easy. So here's my strategy for adding these large numbers together. 60 is 6 tenths, right? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tenths? Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's all 6 tenths, right? So that 60 has 6 tens in it, right? Right? And this 85 is going to have 8 tens and 5 ones, or just 8 tens and a 5. So now this has to have eight tens, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight tens, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens, and a five. So now we get all we gotta do now is count by tens. And we can figure out the sixteen and eighty-five together and then add a 5 on the end. All right, so let me switch to a different color for this. So I can cross them off as we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. That's 145. So we have the 145 plus the 100, so it's just another 100. It's 145, now it's 245 centimeters. 245 centimeters. Kind of Dunkin' Donuts colors, orange and pink. Katie measured the seat height of four different chairs in her house. Here are her results. A love seat, which is kind of a short couch. This is how high it is, like up from the floor. Dining room chair, a little bit taller. Dining room chair. High chair, like a that's like the kind of chair that you put a uh, like a booster chair you put on a a, a, a toddler in, so you could strap it in and feed him. And uh, counter stool. So that'd be like a seat without any arms on it, no armrests. Might just have three legs or four. Usually they have circular tops. So these are all things you sit on, right? All chairs and couches and stuff. How much shorter is the dining room chair and the counter stool? So I'm just. This is what you really have to do: is you have to write down the numbers. The dining room chair is 55, and the counter stool is 65. So you see this too, and then it's how much shorter. So if we're comparing. That means we're probably gonna we gotta find the difference, and that means we're subtracting. So uh, 65, and you have to write this number sentence down too. Right, it's 55. Yeah, you can maybe you can do this in your head, maybe not, but you can see. If you're going to subtract the ones, you've got five ones and you're subtracting five ones, you're not going to have any ones left. And you get six tens and you're subtracting five tens. If you're using the digits like that, you can see you're going to have 
just one ten left, ten centimeters. You could do this with number bonds, right? Fifty and five and sixty and five. Then right, you're gonna subtract sixty. Uh, you need to do it like that. Do it with number bonds. That's how you show it. How much taller is a meter stick than the counter stool? The counter stool is 65 cm, and a meter stick is 100 cm. So it's a 65. Same thing, except now we don't have that five. It's not. It's kind of inconvenient. But if you're going to count up by tens, you could do that. You could, you could arrow it. Sixty-five plus ten gets you to seventy-five. Seventy-five plus ten, eighty-five. Eighty-five plus ten. 95. You can't add another 10 here because then you go over 100. You only need 5 more. So how much did we need? We needed 1, 2, 3 10s. That's 30. 10, 20, 30. And 5 more. 30 and 5. 35 centimeters. Not a lot of room to work with here. So it's a little cramped. You gotta write a little bit smaller. Maybe start closer to this end than than this end, so give yourself plenty of room to work on. Uh, how much taller is a meter stick than the love seat? Meter stick is 100. Love seat is 51. This is going to be kind of a pain, isn't it? This would, this would be really easy if you could remember, if you know that 250s makes 100, and you can use that. Uh, this is 51. So there's a me there are some mental tricks for that. If you know them, you've got to be able to find a way to see how you used them. But we've got 100 minus 51. Well, we could do this. 100 is 250s if you know it. And this 51 is a 50 and a 1. You want to find out the difference between the two. We're subtracting to find the difference. Well, you're going to take away one of these 50s from the 100. That leaves you a 50 left. Right? We've already subtracted that one, so we don't need to worry about it. We have this 50 left. We still have to subtract one more. What's one less than 50? We subtract one from 50. 49 comes right before it, so you have 49 left. You could do it just like that. 49 centimeters. If you know that 250s is 100, that's a trick that helps. Just like 25s makes a 10. Max ran 15 meters this morning. This afternoon he ran 48 meters. This afternoon he ran 48 meters. How many more meters did he run in the afternoon? So we're asking what's the difference um, between the 15 in the morning and the 48 in the afternoon. 48 minus 15. We've got some more room for this one, so I'm going to use it. 48, 40, and 8, right? And we're subtracting 15, which is 10 and 5. So let's subtract this 10 from the 40. 40 minus 10, that's 30, right? So this would be 30 left. And if we subtract this 5 from the 8, there's going to be 3 left. And we just add the, re the remnants back together. 30 plus 3, we're going to have 33 more in the afternoon. in the 
afternoon. Now you got you have to have all of this right here. If you use a number bond strategy, you have to you have to show all of it. Uh, if you use a tape diagram, it's a great strategy to use. You can draw the tape diagram and label it and just and show the, your tape diagram. But you have to have that. You can't just write down a number and be done with it. You have to show all that work. Now, if you've gotten this far, good on you because it's taken me almost a half an hour to get here. That's a lot. So, uh, if you're still with me, uh, we'll take on this last one. How many meters did Max run in all? 15 in the morning plus 48 more he ran in the afternoon. I'm going to add these numbers together. We use a tape diagram strategy. Like I used up above. I'll call this my 48 and I'll call this my 15. And there's your D in the RDW, right? We have the equation right here. Our 48 is 4 tens. 10, 10, 10, 10, right? Because it's 10, 20, 30, 40. And there's an 8, 48, and 15 is just going to be the 10 and a 5. So we can count the 10s 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we're going to have 50 plus 8 plus 5. Well, 50 and 8. We'll just work from left to right here. 50 plus 8, 58. So we're going to have 50. Let's rewrite it. 58 plus 5. We can just use a little make 10 strategy here. We need a 2, right? 2 more. To get this up to the next 10, which would be 60. And to finish this number bond for the 5 is a 3. So we have 60 and the 3. 63. Hope you made it this far. Max. And 63 meters. That's all of it. Uh, hope you made it this far. Uh, it's a lot of math homework. It took me just about a half hour to get through all of it. Uh, it might have taken you even longer. I hope I didn't. Um, uh, if you didn't finish, uh, there's no shame in that. It's a lot, an awful lot of math homework. 